Oh, they used to be a good business at one time. It's, my dad was the first one to bring them back into Hull after the war. He, he, he fetched a lot, hell of a lot from uh, Belgium. Yeah. Brought them to Hull? But on the, on this big ship. Wow. For resale. To make up for, for all the horses that had been knackered, you know, killed and sh shot. What, what year was that? Oh. 45? No, it'll have been about 50. In the 50s. Because I, I was only a bairn when I, I see the photo, you know what I mean? Right. I don't remember the actual landing of them. I remember the, the photo, you know what I mean? It was in Old Daily Mail. And then there was a much bigger market for them than oh, now. Oh, every day. Well, my, my daddy used to supply the fish on fish stock. Doctors, fruiterers, coal men. He used to supply them all. Knacker men, you know, for dog meat. Yeah. He used to supply them all. Which then, I'd say then, then there was a sale from now there isn't, you know. A little bugger's buying this bloody man, it is. <laughs> do they know you? Oh, yeah. They should do. I'll, I'll, I'm on here three times a day. They take a lot of training. Yeah, they get used to it. <laughs> once, once you've got the elsers on, I'm going to shut myself down then. Do you ever get naughty ones? Oh, you can get them, they're bloody new. On occasion, you get the, the odd one, you know what I mean? What do you do with them? Sell them. <laughs> <laughs> Let somebody else have the headache. <laughs> That's for all you, that one. Beautiful that one, eh? How old's Rosie? About eight. What do you do with Rosie? She breeds she breeds them. She had about four four nice foals for me. Yeah, she's lovely. Well her mother's over there. Her mother's over there. I've got so many of each family, you know what I mean? That one of there's four of her family. Ah, oh, they're beautiful. And were these used for carrot for scrap, for getting scrap metal? Was that yeah, the, the, like that, the step, that was, that was step the son? That was, yeah, of course. But, well, I'm I'm the original step tone son, step toe. I'm the oldest lagman in, in all registered lagman. Really? Re the, people don't, people don't realise how much it costs you. I'm just I'm just it's, it's just cost me today, hundred and eight pound. To, to, just to put iron on my lorry. Plus, I've, I've got to have a license for 200 odd pound to collect, collect scrap. Plus, another 200 pound to go on my lorry to put it on my lorry. Oh, it's unbelievable. So it's not making it worthwhile for you to do it? Barely. Not for the price of it. Do you do it or does he, do you get young kids to go around? No, I do it myself. Do it myself when I want better collect. Why don't you use horses? Because it's just not. I used to. I used to, but he's putting a set of shoes on there, that's the blacksmith there, look. Yeah. £55. To put them on the road every day, the last three weeks. Really? Three weeks, plus the feed of them. You know what I mean? So it's, it's cheaper to take a van? Oh, yeah, yeah. It used to be nice seeing the horses oh, around the city, wasn't it? Lovely, lovely. Lovely life. I, I used to live in the caravan for about 10 years. Yeah. 10 or 12 years. And uh, the, the best life in the world, you know what I mean? What about the traveller community then? Did you ever work with them? Because they they need, need horses. I've 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 dealt with them up and down. Yes. Are you but sympathetic I, to them? Yes. There's, there's some good kids among them. As I say, you, you've got ten. You only need two among them to to dump the rubbish, and the rest get combined with them. Because what is a lot of a lot of the time with gypsies, but council don't even understand about it. When the, when a gypsy when the gypsy falls on a place. Nice clean place, but the builders in the town, they start dumping their rubbish inside of their, the gypsies' rubbish. And it looks like it's. It looks like dip, gypsies' rubbish, but it isn't. It's half the time it's builders, because it, it's. I, I used to do rubbish jobs, you know, maybe fifty quid years ago. Now they want forty-five pound council to dump it, so that <laughs> that's why the, that's why there's so much fly tipping and all that caper. It's it, it's. Self-inflicted, you know what I mean? Oh, it's unbelievable. Yeah. So it's not one of the people's dumping it, you know what I mean? A fridge, a tenner to, to dump it. 25, Beverly Borough, they charge 25 pound. Why ain't it free? It is if you've got, like, if you've got the, 
we call them permits. Right. Which is free then. But once you've used them permits, you got, you've got to pay, you know what I mean? Okay. And you can't, you can't get rid of them. That's why there's thousands, there's thousands on this guy. Yesterday, a fella pulled me up and said, do you want 11 fridges? I said, I don't want to ask you. You can't even get rid of them. So he's gone to that address. There was 11 at one house. A bit of a gay old people's home. Well, if they're working, you could flog them to... They don't, they don't want to know. Selwoods on Ezzel yeah. Road. Yeah, they don't want to know. Them. So not what fridge. would you do with them? You'd have to scrap them. Dump them. And it'd cost they're not, you. They're not good scrap. The scrap not, they don't want to be... They, don't, they see you pulling the scrap yard with them. They're going, <laughs> I don't want them. I don't want them. Don't what do they want? Only scrap washes, cokers, whatever you know what I mean. And your tradition's going to go when you go. Oh, but well, that's it. Finished. Finished. I'm hoping it's not for a long while, but see, the, the, way it's, the way I've been lately, I, I don't think it's going to be long. But I mean, e economically, it's not really making. No, you're well, just doing I'm, it. You're doing it out I'm, of love I'm, now. I, I, I do it because I love them. They're my pets. You know what I mean? Do they? Do they look after them? Do you have to feed them? Do they? Or do they just feed? Oh, them? they get feed. But I give them a bit extra every time. You know what I mean? But they could just live off the grass, could yeah, they? Yeah, they could. Like at this time of year, but when winter comes, I, I fetch them here and all like that. And they need their own water, or they've got fresh oh, water there? Oh, I've got there. water, water there and water over there. See, see them big tuck green tanks over there, look? Yeah. That's what, well, luckily them people there, they, they pump water into them for me. You don't bother naming them, then? Oh, they've all got a name. You're joking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's Billy Boy. <laughs> Billy Boy, that's for all going up there. <laughs> oh, yeah, they've all got a name. So all them over there? Yeah, they all have a name. They're all yours? Oh, yeah. <laughs> never... Like all the mares of all the babies this year. I've two more to go yet. Oh, they're beautiful. Have you ever been kicked by one? Yeah. I had my leg broke two years since for one. I was in the right British theatre, I was. How, how can you, you... You can't predict that that's going to happen? No. The, the most un unpredictable animal there is. You can have the quietest of the quiet, but if you just have something startling like that, to the return, you know what I mean? So it's not being aggressive, it's usually accidental? No, it's, half the time it's reacting to some other noises, like someone banging behind you or something like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, do any of them right? Do you, have, do you ever get saddles on them and give them a good... No, saddle? no. You don't gallop them around no. well? They, that's about as much as they do walk about getting, going for water, then they go for, they go for another walk, you know what I mean? Is that enough exercise, do you reckon? Yeah, plenty of exercise. The start, the start at the back end, Thomas Moore end, which is them lot par trees right up there. Yeah. Oh, it's a, a big field yeah, then, isn't it, really? 54 acre. There's a, there's, a, there's a forest there. Well, that's where they go on the night time for shelter. They go there, then at about 10 o'clock in the morning, you can see them walk over here, and they'll, they'll go to that water box there for water. Brilliant. Yeah, oh, clever. Oh, and when, at night, do they get down on... Do they lie down oh, to sleep? Oh, lay down here, she explode out. <laughs> Easy life, I wish I had the same life all I had to do was eat, eat and enjoy myself. So is this the most you've ever had? No, I, the most I ever had was 54. Wow. Well, considering how, bad, how, how difficult it is, you're not doing bad at 40, are you, no, really? No, no. Uh, I look, I look, I luckily, we, we, we haven't done so bad because our, our problem is vet bills. We have John Levison at Swanbridge, yeah, he's very good. But it's, it's everything you mentioned, Sadia, you know. And even. Cost you a bloody fortune. Redoing the things there is 35. Yeah. Was that 35 quid a foot? 55. Each foot? No, four, four, four. Four of them. 